Ladies and gentlemen, Matt Cushion. Thank you. Growing my manners, ladies and gentlemen. It's Rove. Rove. Yeah. Oh, this is exciting. Jeez, I didn't... Like, if you told me as a kid growing up in 1980s London that one day I'd be not... I would be on YouTube.com. I wouldn't have believed you. <laughs> like, I would, I'd be like, no way, no kid like me gets on YouTube.com. <laughs> Maybe President Barack Obama <laughs> gets on YouTube.com, but not a little Englishman like me. <laughs> so thank you, thank you people here, thank you viewers at home for taking time out of your lazy masturbation to flick over to my tab. <laughs> That's what I'd be doing if I was watching this at home. I'd have both going at the same time. I... <laughs> one eye on me, one eye on the porn. Get mixed up in your head, good things happen. Uh, <laughs> some, somewhere an association's being made, and I appreciate that. <laughs> so this just happened to me the other day. I, I, I still haven't processed it. Because I, I work nights. This is my job. So I finish work, and then I do normal things. So I do things like grocery shopping in the middle of the night. I'll do it at two in the morning when it's just me and drunks. <laughs> All right, and the occasional nurse. And the occasional drunk nurse. <laughs> Which is, oh, I love that. I love a drunk nurse. Not even for any creepy reasons. It's just like nurses have the best stories. And if they're drunk, they share. <laughs> like nurses have stories that would put a sea captain to shame. <laughs> stories with Lines in it like, no, you have to understand, it was a full-sized umbrella. <laughs> but I was just in this, like, I was just in this 24-hour store just buying normal groceries at two in the morning, like bread, milk, cereal, and I put my basket of food next to the register and I went to get a couple more things and I came back and it's gone. Like, my basket's gone. So I'm looking for the overzealous employee who's putting everything back. <laughs> and then I see the most confused-looking drunk man leaving with my stuff. Like, he bought my things. <laughs> he bought my... Gr I don't even know if that's a crime. I don't, if anyone at home knows, like, comment in. Like, I don't know what the legality... I think until you pay for something, it belongs to the store. And then he paid for it. So it's his. But I... I selected it. Like, I put all the work in. I got, I got like, a week's worth of food, and he just waltzed off with it. Like... I, I couldn't be mad at him either, because he was so drunk and so baffled. Because from his point of view, that's just... That's the world's most convenient convenience store. <laughs> He's just staggered in, hammered, and then the guy's like, what do you want? And he's like... This. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, convenience store. I'll be back here every night. This is wonderful. I don't remember having a cat. But either that, or he was so drunk he'd forgotten that he hadn't already gone to the effort of selecting everything. <laughs> you know, have you ever done that thing where you're really drunk and your brain just starts to do useful things? Am I the only one who does that? <laughs> Who's just hammering and thinking, well, I'm, I'm, I'm slaughtered, everything's fun, so I might as well get some chores done. <laughs> you know, you wake up the next morning and all the bathroom tiles are clean. <laughs> but you vomited in the freezer. <laughs> you know, it's a trade-off. <laughs> the entire apartment's vacuumed, but you've killed a man. <laughs> it's give and take. <laughs> Daniel going straight in with the Catholic stuff. At a time that we have a new Pope as well, of all the times to be doing that. New, a new, the Pope is barely out of... I don't know where Popes come from. <laughs> He says that. First Latin American Pope as well. First Pope from Latin America. I know. Yeah, it's pretty cool, right? I mean, don't worry, you know, he's, he's still white and hates gays. So they, they kept it safe on that front. They kept the light-skinned homophobe theme that's working so well. It's an exciting time for gay rights. We had the debate in the UK. It got passed by Parliament. The Conservative Prime Minister voted for gay marriage, which is remarkable. That's never happened before. Not everyone was for it. One guy in the middle of the debate actually said the words, 
Adam and Eve, not Adam and Steve. <laughs> like he said that out loud. Like knowing that other people were listening as well. Like <laughs> knowing that his words were being recorded and everything. He thought that was a good thing to say. Like that's on a part with, like, if it was a debate about whether women should have equal pay in the workplace, and he just stood up and gone, girl smell, and sat down again, like that. <laughs> That's the same level of sophistication. He is my second favorite homophobe. I know it's weird to have them ranked, but I do. My number one is, and I think will always be, uh, Michelle Bachman. She has to be, because she's the only one I know who's that homophobic while being married to such an obviously gay man. Like, like, he's so gay. I know I'm libeling someone on a live streaming thing right now, but he's so, like, if he's not gay, he's putting a lot of effort into appearing gay. Like, he is really, have you seen? Like, go, like, you're on YouTube right now. Like, don't do it right. Open up another, like, tab next to my one and YouTube Marcus Backman interview. He is ridiculous. Like, I know not everyone who sounds like that is gay, not everyone who's gay sounds like that, but he's so, like, the two of them are absurd. In the modern era, and people are becoming so much more accepting, they exist. <laughs> Last year, I was in San Francisco during Pride Weekend, and I would urge any of you to go there, whatever your sexuality. I was there as a straight guy with my girlfriend, and it's one of the best celebrations on earth of humanity and sexuality. It's just a massive party where the only theme is tolerance. And walking through the middle of this park, around which a lot of the events are centered, were these two guys, and they were in great physical shape which we could clearly tell, because all they were wearing was shoes <laughs> and matching cock rings. <laughs> I hope intentionally, by the way, I hope that was planned between the two of them. I'd hate to think they rocked up independently, and like, oh, you as well. <laughs> oh, well, there's no time to go home and change either. This is embarrassing. <laughs> but they were walking through the middle of the park together, and it was hilarious, and it was wonderful, and it was, fantastic, and it was absurdly gay. <laughs> but still not as gay as Marcus Backman's voice. <laughs> Thank you very much for listening to my part this evening. Take care. Appreciate it. I'll be Matt Kirshen. Bye. Matt Kirshen! Thank you, Matt Kirshen! <laughs>